Hello everyone. Good day. Today, we're going to continue our lesson on topic repeated subtraction. With me, your teacher, and my name is Amira. I would like to say hi, kids, to all of you, and welcome to class. Before we begin our class, please prepare Mathematics Workbook Part 1, page 120 until page 122 for today's lesson. Please turn to page 120 until 122 of your Mathematics Workbook Part 1. A big reminder, please set up your study space. Be ready and set up your study space. Make sure you have a study space that can at least avoid you being distracted when you are having your learning session. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to Recognize number of groups separated. Number two, you should be able to recognize number of objects in each group. Number three, you should be able to do repeated subtraction using count back technique or number lines technique or vertical form technique. Now, look at these pictures, number the groups and objects in the groups. We're going to start doing repeated subtraction by looking at this picture. This is a picture of marbles. Now, let's count together how many marbles do we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten, ten marbles all together. Now, the ten marbles are separated into two bags. Can you guess how many marbles in each bag? All right. Now we have two group or two bags. The 10 marbles are separated into two bags. So the main bag or the white bag have no more marble. All marbles are separ separated into two bags. Technically, the marbles in the white bag have no more because all the marbles already take out and put into two other bags. Each bag contained five marbles. Each bag contained five marbles. Now, we're going to look at the statement. The first statement is, we can say the marbles are grouped in fives. Or we can also say the marbles are separated in fives. I'm going to explain in bahasa. Dekat sini, kita boleh gunakan ayat guli tersebut telah dikumpulankan kepada lima lim. Atau kita boleh cakap guli-guli tersebut telah diasingkan kepada lima lim. 
Di sini dalam kes ini 55 untuk dua kumpulan. Setiap kumpulan mempunyai 5 guli. Alright. Next. To get the answer, we can do count back technique. We can do count back technique. As you see from here, we start from 10, we minus with 5, and we minus again with 5. This indicates that 10 marbles is separated into 5 fives. 10 minus 5, we're going to do count back. 10 put at your mouth. The number 5, the first number 5, you put at your fingers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. The answer 5, you put at your mouth. And the second number 5, you put at your fingers. 5, now we do come back. 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero. The answer is zero. This means the main bag is technically have no more marbles. Instead of using count back, we can also use number line technique. We will draw the arrow. From number 10, we go to number 5. From number 5, we go to 0. 10 minus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. The third technique, we can, we can use vertical form technique. Vertical form technique got two vertical form techniques. This is vertical form technique number one. We write number 10, we write number 5 below number 10. And we do the subtraction. 0, 1 to minus with 10. 0, 1 to minus with 5 is not enough. So we have to do the borrowing as shown here. We cancel number 1 become 0, we cancel 0 become 10, and we do come back, we will get the answer 5. And we have to continue doing this vertical form as shown here. We need to continue from the answer, we minus again with the third number or number 5 until we get 0. This is vertical form technique number one. Now, I'm going to show you vertical form technique number two. Vertical form technique number two is quite same. It's just like when you get number, uh, you write number 10 and you write number five, you get the answer five, you bring the answer to the right. You draw an arrow and you bring the answer number 5 to the right. Next, we do again the short vertical form. We write 5 minus 5 until we get the answer 0. This is vertical form technique number 2. Now, we're going to look at example number 2. Example number two will show the, the repeated subtraction. This is the picture of donut. Let's, let's count together how many donuts do we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the donut are separated into twos. Can you guess 
how many groups the donuts are separated? Plan your answer in your mind. How many groups do we have? How many groups do we have to separate the donuts? Well done. The donuts are separated into three groups. Now, can you guess? The donuts are separated into three groups of how many objects? How many donuts in each group? Can you tell me? Or you may plan your answer in your mind. Good job! There are two donuts in each group. So we can say the statement as shown here. I'm going to read for you. The donuts are grouped in twos. Or we can also say the donuts are separated in twos. I'm going to explain in Bahasa. Donat-donat tersebut dikumpulankan kepada dua-dua-dua. Dua. That's why we have to write two with S. Twos. Atau kita boleh guna donat itu diasingkan kepada dua-dua-dua. Reminders, make sure you write the donut are groups grouped in twos. Twos, you should put S because we have many two here. We have three, three times twos. That's why we have to put S behind for the twos. Now, next, we're going to do comeback technique until we get the answer zero because technically, the main plate is already empty because all the donuts are separated into three groups of twos. So we can do count back. Six put at your mouth, two put at your fingers, count back. When you get the answer four, you put the four at your mouth. Number two, you put at your finger and you count back until you get until you get the answer zero. We can also draw the number line to get the answer. The number line will be drawn from six. From number six, we go to number four. From number four, we go to number two, and from number two, we go to number zero. In this case, vertical form technique number one is not suitable because it will be too long. You may use vertical form technique number two as shown here. You do vertical form for the first number two. And when you get the answer, you put number four to the right. You draw the arrow and you write number four to the right. And we continue with our counting. We draw again the vertical form, second vertical form. And we get the answer. When we get the answer number two, we write again to the right. We draw a, an arrow and we write number two to the right. And we continue counting until we get the answer zero. I'm going to explain to you in Bahasa. Mula-mula kita buat dulu enam tolak dua dalam vertical form yang pertama. Dapat jawapan nombor empat, kita pindahkan nombor empat, pergi ke sebelah dan tulis pula nombor dua yang yang kedua. Kemudian kita akan dapat jawapan four minus two is two. Jawapan dia tu kita bawa lagi ke sebelah. Kita tulis lagi 2 minus 2 equal to 0. Kita akan buat sampai kita dapat jawapan 0. Jadi vertical form pun dah menunjukkan ada 3 kali vertical form. Which means 3 kali vertical form ni membawa masuk 3 kumpulan lah. 
tiga kumpulan dua dua dua. Right? This three vertical form will indicate the three groups of twos. All right. For your understanding, you can keep rewind this video. And for today's task, please complete page 120, 121 and 122 of your mathematics workbook part 1. Reminders. You may refer your Google Classroom for further instructions. You may refer your Google Classroom for further instructions. All right, girls, that's all for today. Thank you. And congratulations for your participation and in today's class. See you next time. Bye.